Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable or disable the wishlist feature in Magento. Now, Dave, this is one of those yes, no options over in the configuration. Ah, like ones. Indeed. So with that said, we're going to jump across to Magento and we'll meet up there with you in a few moments time. So Dave, we've been to come across to our Magento website and can you see that we've got the add to wishlist feature on here? Yep. Okay, and a little quick note, we are using the Ultimo theme, which we recorded an entire course on how to make a responsive website for just $99. Now, this has the add to wishlist option underneath the add to cart button. Now, of course, that may depend upon the theme which you're using, but what we're looking for is this add to wishlist feature to disappear. Now, to make it to disappear or to re-enable it is really straightforward. Is that if you go to your Magento dashboard, then go to system, click on configuration down at the bottom. Now, Dave, this setting is hiding in Magento. And if we scroll right down on the left hand side, we're looking for the customers section on the left hand side. There it is. And I'm just going to highlight this on your screen for you. It's the wish list option on the left hand side. And then click on to wish list. Now, Dave, I did say this was a yes, no option in Magento. Yeah. Dave's giggling, but trust me, if you've lost this set and you don't know which one it is, it's the general options at the top. So you'll either want it enabled, or in our case for this tutorial, we're gonna set that to no for enabled, and then press save config. Now Dave, I know that we've got the caches turned off on our Magento website, but you listening to this, you may have the caches enabled and you may be using a full page cache extension. So we're gonna show you one extra step, which is to go to system, then down to cache management. Then on the left hand side, click on select tool and then press submit on the right hand side. And the reason why I've showed that extra step there, Dave, is can you see down here, we've got a full page cache extension enabled. Well, it's disabled in hours, <laughs> but you listen to this, you may have an extension like that. And again, we've got tutorials to show you how to set that up over on understandthene.com. So we've just done this extra step. And the reason for that is that when you go back to your product on your Magento website and then reload that product page, is that the add to wishlist feature will either then show, or in this case, won't show on your product pages. Was that nice and easy, Dave? I like that, that's nice and easy. Indeed. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.